Welcome to the office, a magical office this week. Listen to this. Alone or fully crewed, he is usually spending every winter circumnavigating the globe on a yacht. A few months ago, this exceptional sailor launched a maxi trimaran for the upcoming Route du Rhum. Thomas Coville and his team are welcoming us on board the new Saturday boat during the plastic session held in La Trinité sur Mer in Brittany. But Thomas is kind of busy right now, so we'll catch up with him a little bit later. Marazzi's crew take the overall wings of the first Marseille One design with a solid 8 points margin on board the sensational GC32s. You're watching the selling updates. Welcome to the office. The small but fiercely competitive fleet of three faces a mix of both extreme and light wind conditions for this new speed sailing event in the south of France. 20 plus knots with gust bolting up to 30 welcome sailors on the first day of racing. Former Olympic star sailor Flavio Marazzi with his armings from sailing team takes and then hold on to the lead throughout the 17 races event. This is no walkover as the Swiss crew has its hand full trying to hold back the strong locals of GDF Suez with America's Cup veteran Sebastian Cole on tactic and Sebastian Rohr on the helm. It all comes down to the last three Sunday's regatta worth twice the points. Armin Strom and GDF Suez are poised for a final showdown in an unstable and tactical 5 to 15 knots breeze incoming from the southwest. Round one goes to the two Sebastians, Rogs and Cole on GDF Suez. Marazzi's Armin Strom doesn't just sit by and wins a crucial penultimate race. Despite winning the last race, it is still not enough for the French team. Thomas, uh, today a uh, training session. What was the goal of the training session today? Uh, today was uh, quite special. Uh, it was uh, the first time I was training for the start of the Route de Rome by myself on, uh, on the Sode Bowl team, which is uh, quite rare to get the time to make yourself ready for such an event. And uh, it was the first time uh, we, we've done that exercise with Jean-Luc. So um, we've made a, quite a perfect start. Yeah, that <laughs> For, was a very good first one. <laughs> yeah, very good first one. The Route de Rome is just a few weeks away? Six weeks from now, so it's very short. Very short. Um, Where are you at now with your preparation? I think we, we had quite the, the best preparation we can. Uh, the project started about 14 months ago and we rebuilt totally uh, Geronimo and makes a Sode Bowl team. And uh, since the launch, we didn't have any problem, even a structural. So it makes us very happy. Uh, we launched the boat the 19th of May. And uh, since that time, we spent uh, about six weeks in La Trinité, where we, we, we are today. And we, we've done also two transatlantic, one by crew and one by myself. That, uh, so it was a very good uh, training session for us. Thomas Covell is as ready for his... How many route de Rome? Uh, I should not say that. No, I'm, uh, I'm, yeah, it's a fifth. Fifth route de Rome. Yeah, yeah. A long career. Yeah, a long career, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you're as ready as you can be. Yeah, it's, it's what I, I love today. Or it's, uh, I'm just enthusiastic, like uh, I've been the first time, or, or nearly. And, uh, and I, I love that uh, road drum because it's like the Olympic Games or, or the Volvo. Or, or, um, it's once, once again uh, one of the most interesting events for the year in France. So, well, let's go. Thank you for having us and uh, good luck for the road drum. Thank you very much. <laughs> See ya. See you. A huge thank you to Thomas and the Sodebos team for this magical experience. Rendezvous next week, same time, same place. Until then, goodbye and fair sailing.